A man who recently moved back to his Daytona Beach area hometown is single-handedly trying to change the face of low-income neighborhoods, one house at a time. And as West Shoes Claire Metz reports, now he's buying rundown properties and renovating them, then renting them back to people at prices that they can afford. Sixty-year-old Charles Roundtree's piece of happiness is half a duplex on School Street in Daytona Beach, freshly painted, landscaped outside. Inside, Charles proudly shows off granite countertops in the kitchen, a pristine bedroom. It's uh, really nice to have a place like this, you know. I always dreamed of it, and now the Lord to answer my prayer. With a little help from 37-year-old Michael Anderson and his company Casa de Comienzo Fresco, House of New Beginnings. This was a crack house, basically. Everything was boarded up. Um, it was disgusting. Anderson has finished one renovation. And with the help of friends, has started a second project, both in low-income communities and all at his own expense. Despite that, he will not jack up the prices. I don't want to import. Tenants, I want to help out people that are already here, you know, give them the same place, but much nicer, you know, for the same amount of money. Anderson looks for properties where his renovations will make an immediate and dramatic change. Now remember, this was a crack house right across the street from a Head Start nursery school and right next door to a church. What a difference. It's changed Charles Roundtree's life. He once lived on the streets, but with government subsidy, he's finally home. It's beautiful, you know. There should be more places like this for people. You know, I mean, it's good, you know, it's good to have somebody around here with a heart. Somebody has to do it. Anderson says change comes slowly, one house at a time. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Matz, West 2 News. And Anderson admits the homes he is renovating could be profitable for him down the road as a long-term investment. His immediate goal, though, is to help people who can't help themselves. And city leaders applaud the effort. What a great story. It certainly is. Great things out there.